The heart model is a fairly complicated structure and we will spend a lot of time on it in lab. This is our heart model and it's got three doors. We have a blue door up here. We've got this door here. And then this door will open up and show us a larger area. Now when you're thinking about the heart, the first thing you want to do is think about anatomical position. So this is the right side, this is the left side. The heart has four chambers. Two of them are the receiving chambers of the heart. So this is the right atria, right through here. This is the left atria, right here. Now on the left side we can see this white structure and we also see one on the right side. These are valves that separate the atria from the ventricle. The ventricles are the discharging chambers of the heart and they are very red as we can see here. Um, so from the left atria, blood will move through this valve. Now both of these valves are called atrioventricular valves. This is the left, this is the right. However, there are other names as well. This can be called the bicuspid or the mitral valve. So blood will be pushed through this valve into the left ventricle. From the left ventricle, blood would be pushed from the apex of the heart, the bottom, up past here. And as we look, you can begin to see some white structures way in the back there. That is a semilunar valve that will send blood. Blood will be pushed up through it and it'll move into this major blood vessel here, which is the aorta. All right, looking on the right side, we have the valve right through here. This is the tricuspid valve on the right side. Blood will be pushed into the right ventricle. When the heart contracts, it will push blood up to here. This valve is the pulmonary semilunar valve that sends blood to the pulmonary trunk. This is the pulmonary artery that breaks into the left and right pulmonary arteries. Now I'm going to switch up here to the board for a minute. So in anatomical position we can see the four different chambers of the heart. We have the idea of some of these blood vessels written in here in blue. So the left atrium receives blood from, pul from four pulmonary veins, two from the right side, two from the left side. The blood enters the left atrium, gets pushed through the valve, which is not on this picture, through the left ventricle, and will exit to the aorta. Blood on the left side of the heart is oxygenated. It will be red in color, whether it's in the pulmonary vein or the aorta, aorta which is the largest artery, artery in the heart. On the right side, we have deoxygenated blood. It is coming back from the systematic circuit of the body. So it includes blood from the superior vena cava, inferior vena cava, and coronary sinus. Blood will then be pushed from the right atrium to the right ventricle. When the right ventricle contracts, blood will be pushed through that pulmonary trunk. So the pulmonary trunk, which we saw here. Now, let's go in. There's a red spot up here. And we have two red spots here. The red spot on the top is this blood vessel up here. This is the superior vena cava. This blood vessel that we see here, which has this large red spot on the inside, is the inferior vena cava. And this tiny little red spot here is blood returning to the heart from the coronary sinus. So this is the opening to the coronary sinus. There's a white spot right through here. This white spot is the fossa ovale. It's a remnant of the opening that used to be in utero between the two atria. Now, if we close these doors for a minute and work our way to the back side, we can see two red blood vessels here. 
we also see two red blood vessels here. And as we open this up, what we can see is there's two little red spots there, two more over here. Those are the four pulmonary veins returning oxygenated blood to the left side of the heart so it can be pumped out of the aorta and move around to the body parts. Now the aorta, as it is coming up, is the ascending aorta and there are two blood vessels that come off of that. We have the coronary arteries. This is the right coronary artery that comes down here and we can see the left over here. It ends up underneath this pulmonary trunk. They are the first two branches coming off of the aorta. The second part of the aorta is the arch of the aorta, which we see up here. There's three major blood vessels coming off of this arch. We have the brachiocephalic artery here. The second is the left common carotid artery. It's common for a very important reason, and we'll look at that as we move into a torso model later on. And we have the left subclavian artery here. Now if we go back to this brachiocephalic artery, brachio referring to arm, cephalic referring to head, we see a split on this right side. This blood vessel going up becomes the right common carotid. It'll be symmetrical with this one from this point forward. And then this blood vessel is turning to the side going to the arm. So this is the left subclavian artery. I mean the right subclavian artery, sorry. Like the left one you have here. So right subclavian, left subclavian artery. Another remnant we have from developmental stages is this connection point between the pulmonary trunk and the aorta. So when we are in the uterus, this is actually a blood vessel that allows blood exchange between these two vessels. However, after we are out, we no longer need that and this becomes a remnant and it's got just kind of a corrugated structure here to it. This is called the ligamentum arteriosum. A few other basic structures to consider with the anatomy of the heart. What separates the left and right ventricles is a wall. This wall is called the interventricular septum. There is also a similar septum between the two atria and you'll have to put your hands in there and feel that interatrial septum. If we go back up here, this line here would be the interatrial septum. So interventricular septum is the wall between the ventricles. Interatrial septum is the wall between the atria. All right, we have four chambers of the heart. We have four valves of the heart, two of them being those atrioventricular valves, the tricuspid on the right side, the mitral or bicuspid on the left side, and then the pulmonary and aortic semilunar valves that are sending blood out of the heart. We have major blood vessels. Um, the right atrium has three entering. The left atrium has four major blood vessels entering. Both ventricles have one major blood vessel leaving them. That is the basic anatomy of the heart. Future sections related to this heart model will discuss how heartbeat happens and anatomy related to that. Thank you.